our basic perimeter defense is our middle front comes over, our right back moves back and digs the line, our left back digs the angle, our left front comes off for the sharp angle, and our middle back stays deep. We have most of the court covered at this point, and if the ball was on the antenna and the block was in the perfect spot, we would work, it would work perfectly every time. Go ahead and just take a couple of approaches, Jenny. Just take a couple of approaches with that. And you got stop. Go. Go. Get to defense. Yeah. Ready? Go. Okay. So on a perfect set, on a perfectly set block, it would look exactly the same every time. When the ball is set outside the antenna, we now gain an advantage. The hitter can no longer hit a por portion of the court when the ball is hit outside the antenna because the antenna shuts it off. So we need to react accordingly in order to maximize our percentages of scoring. So if the ball, let's give her a ball. Outside the antenna, come on over. We now have this portion of the court cannot be hit. So what we're going to do is we will rotate our defense into the portion of the court of which the player can hit. So our right back would rotate over till she could see the ball. Till she sees the ball, our middle back's going to rotate over accordingly. Our left front, who is off the net here, is going to come in for the tip all the way in and our left back is going to shade over. So we have three people covering this court. We have the short ball covered, and we have, it, and we have the entire court maximized with the most amount of people. Okay, go back. I would believe when the ball set off the antenna, move on over, that our right side blocker stays on the antenna. We want to shut off every bit of angle we can without exposing ourselves to any weaknesses. Sometimes people will do this. There's another school of thought of which they would have the blocker move in because she can't hit there. I don't like this because I think that exposes this outside hand to get hit and deflected out of bounds and that, thus giving up a point. I would rather play the percentages, cover as much court as possible, and play defense around it and get good quality swings in our transition. Okay, go on back. Okay, so once again, the ball's outside. She's, hold on, hold on, hold on. The ball's outside. She's going to hit the ball. We're going to react accordingly on defense. Okay, very good move right there where that sharp angle, because her left back saw the situation, she was over there and ready for that ball. On the back set, it would work identical. Our basic defense, perimeter defense versus the back set would be our middle blocker comes over and blocks. Our left back goes back to the line about 20 deep, 20 feet deep. Our middle back is in between the hands of the, the right the right side, right hand of the right side, left side blocker and the left hand of the middle blocker. Our left back is going to get on the inside of the middle blocker's right hand and our left front is going to come off sharp angle and get the tip. On a perfect set, it would be the same every time. Ready? Don't hit it, you can just go. Go. Ready? Go. So we have the court, stay there, stay there. We have the court balanced, everything is covered. If she can't hit it, we would come up for the tip and we would get that play. 
Now, when the ball is hit out, set outside the antenna, the farther out it goes, once again, we would rotate. So the ball cannot be hit to this portion, so our left back would move over, our middle back would move over, our right back would move over, and our off blocker would come up. So you can see it's crucial for the outside diggers or our wing diggers to realize when the ball is set outside the net and make that adjustment. Very important that they pay attention, see where the ball is set. Now if we go back outside and the ball is set inside, if it's a low inside set or they do it by mistake, just the opposite would happen. The right side blocker comes in, sets the block, our middle blocker comes over, now, what happens is our right side sees the blocker come over. That person, the hitter, will not be able to hit this portion of the court because there's a blocker there, so our right back comes up for the tip. This spot right here now becomes exposed, so she has to be there. Move it in a little bit more, too. Our left front comes over and digs the angle. Our left back is inside on the sharp angle, and our middle back stays a little neutral but needs to balance the court this to the right to the line. We're now giving more responsibility of the deep corner to this person. She now, the middle back, has the off-speed deep shot. Good start wide, and then you move in and you call inside and move with it. That was a very good move, but you could, what happens often is this right back doesn't recognize the situation. The, right, the blocker moves in, and that becomes open. So let's take a look how that looks, so don't come up this time. So. So it's very important that all players recognize the situation and move accordingly. What happens is somebody will forget, you leave that spot open, and then you've made a mistake and given up a point. On the back set, it would be the same thing on the normal back five. Our normal defense looks like this. When the ball is set inside, the left side blocker must call inside, inside. Go back to base. We set it up. This person now comes up for the tip. She's going to balance the court this way. We're going a little deeper here. And this person comes off and digs a sharp angle. OK, let's take a look at that.
Okay, once again, it's crucial everybody knows a common mistake would be the left back doesn't make that adjustment. The block moves in and it leaves this spot vulnerable. So once again, it's important that all players are on the same page and know what's going on. We're now in our normal base defense. What happens often is we've now gone over basics of when the people come straight at you. The question now is, or the problem now presenting us, is what to do when the hitters switch assignments.